हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज राजीव शर्मा इज चाइना टेस्टिंग सीक्रेटिवली न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स स्मॉल न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स एट इट्स लोकटूर साइट दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन एंड फ्रेंड्स यू मस्ट वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द वेरी एंड बिकॉज द सब्जेक्ट हैज ह्यूज ह्यूज इंप्लीकेशंस on the g2 that is the top two powers of the world us and china their bilateral relations their dynamics and this report will hugely dent and aggravate the bilateral relations between the big two now the details the us state department has come up with a report a damning report on china on arms control measures and it has alleged that us has noticed secret activities going on at the chinese uh, only nuclear site lop nur the biggest one for last uh, one year and uh, it has it says it suspects that it has already conducted small nuclear devices nu nuclear tests underground and thus has contravened the very international norms and pacts which china adheres to now the us state department also says that the chinese have done these tests which is violative of uh, many norms including the zero yield standards the zero yield standards uh, uh, by zero yield one means uh, you know um, in in zero yield uh, the tested device uh, does not trigger uh, a, a, the radiation chain which normally when you it does uh, when when you conduct tests on warheads and and uh, other things now us has not come up with any clinching evidence yet it says it admits that it cannot prove its charges but there is circumstantial evidence for example the satellite imagery which shows the excavation and if you see the thumbnail of this video uh, at the backdrop of uh, the th the th thumbnail is uh, the the latest satellite imagery of lopnur Uh, site of china which shows uh, some excavation excavation activities now china chinese reaction has been understandable fast and furious it has thoroughly rubbished the us report and it says that us is making false accusations and uh, it it says that every year the us state department uh, comes up with a annual report uh, intervening in the military affairs of other countries well that is the chinese position well last year a similar allegation was made in in the last year's edition of us state department report on arms control on russia again nothing has come of that and no there was no further uh, corroboration or uh, further uh, um, you know details were shared now what are the ramifications of this well many first of all apart from many other tensions between china and us like uh, president trump calling 
coronavirus or the Chinese virus. On coronavirus, they are both the powers are on at loggerheads. As you see, uh, if you have seen in my two previous video editions, um, the Chinese uh, lab in Wuhan has been accused of being the epicenter of the and being responsible for the pandemic triggered by coronavirus, novel coronavirus. Now, apart from all these, this is the latest red rag for military relations between the, between the two parts. And that too comes at a time when President Trump has been very keen to resume nuclear talks with China and keep it uh, on a larger scale by including other powers like Russia also. So obviously with these kind of uh, accusations, with these kinds of tensions, it is highly unlikely China will come on board, come, on, come at the table. It is highly unlikely. Now, also, Republican Senator Tom Cotton has alleged that US has handcuffed itself, Tom Cotton says, and says that why should US unnecessarily bind itself with the with the uh, you know what he basically means is that US is walking a one way street without any reciprocation and now the question arises is this uh, a straight acquisition or is is there something behind it is the Trump administration wanting to get out of CTBT and free itself from nuclear testing. Well, the US Defense Intelligence Agency had uh, has already estimated that US uh, that China will double its uh, nuclear stockpile in by next decade. Well, there is a huge gap between China and US in terms of nuclear stockpile. Whereas the Chinese Chinese have 300 nuclear warheads. US has 3,800. So there's a vast gap. Now, the question is, if this is a, a sort of a, a pretext for US to walk out of CTBT and, uh, and let uh, the international bodies deal with uh, um, flouters of CTBT and uh, nuclear test norms on its own, and free itself for further nuclear testing. For example, both China and US have uh, approved CTBT, but neither has ratified it. And for the last almost quarter century, China and US have not conducted tests, at least that is on paper. If secretively any of them or has done, that's a different matter. But since 1996, when China and US signed the CTBT, though neither has ratified it, well, uh, nuclear testing has been kept on hold. Well, folks, I end this video here and uh, I will expect, I would really urge you to come up with your comments. And if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.